Hi everyone, it's me, Lona Quinn. Uh, first makeup tutorial for Halloween. And it is a... I don't know, I kind of pulled inspiration from uh, numerous sources. Like, I pulled inspiration from uh, jesters, harlequins, um, from clowns, and... Yeah, also from, of course, uh, the Joker. And... I just kind of pulled them all together and just created this kind of look. Um, some of it's grungy, some of it's not. And I just really, really wanted to just go crazy, used red and black, um, just deepened up my contours. And it's just really, really awesome. Something that I would definitely, I definitely would wear for Halloween. Um, so, yeah, if, I, if you want to see how, this, how I did this look, just keep on watching. So, basically for the eyes, um, skin has already been done, um, I basically just did my natural, what I normally do with my skin, um, I just felt like pretty much doing the same thing I normally do with my skin, although I haven't done my contour yet, I will do that after I do the beginning of the eyes. For the eyes, I am not putting on primer potion because I don't feel like primer potion is needed for this, you want your eyes to look as gross and just like, ugh, as possible. Whether that made sense or not, I do not know. But, the color I'm going to be using is from my Ofra um, Signature Eyeshadow Palette in Contour Eyes. And it's this one. This is the one I normally use for my contour. I love it. It's a bit matte, which is good. So, I'm just going to pick it up on a domed eyeshadow brush. Eyeshadow brush domed is amazing. Eyeshadow, I said that wrong, but... Anyways, I'm just going to take and squint my eyes a little so that I get a good amount of creases in it. And as you can see, that just made my eyes look really gross and disgusting and just amazing. So, yes. Now, what I am going to do is... I'm going to make the eyes look even, I'm going to do the contour, not the eyes, the contour. Use my good old um, blending brush. I love using a blending brush for contouring. I'm just going to load up my brush and put it where I normally contour it. You could just do that. As you can see, it's already given some depth, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and continue contouring, chiseling out my cheekbone. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going, naturally, if you really look you will notice that you have a line, like almost like a vein that is right there. So basically what I'm gonna do is where I have it darker, I'm gonna contour there. Very, very dark. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, this pencil, it is the Black Bean pencil from, uh, what is it called? NYX, I love this stuff. And I'm just going to squeeze my eyes. And it looks like that. You could go like this and you're good to go. But because I want to give it that jester kind of look, I'm going to add more. But before I do that, I'm going to take and take my Tasty Tubes uh, lip thing from Stormy Cosmetics. I forgot. I think the name is Pout. Um, any clear lip gloss will do. Honestly, I would prefer people would use the, what is it called, the, um, texture gloss from MAC because it's a little bit safer for the eye area. This is more of a use it your own wrist kind of thing, so I'm not going to tell you go ahead and use it, but if you use it, it is at your own risk. And I'm going to make sure it's a little bit thicker as I go down. I'm trying to match them up a little bit. Obviously, it's not going to be completely the same. Like, this one, I can already see. This one's a little bit 
um, longer than the other. But in a way, it's not really going to make a big, big difference. But, like, you're just trying to make them look relatively similar. Don't make, don't make this one all the way down here, this one all the way up here. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. Looks like that. You go with that and be done, but not me. I'm gonna cut out another one. The great thing about this look is that it does not, if you do the messy part, you don't have to make it look perfect. So now I'm just gonna take my finger. Very dark, like, <laughs> Um, and for the nose, I basically just add, just pretty much it in a triangular shape, if you guys couldn't see. I know you guys are probably trying to look up my nose, but anyways, what I'm, I'm going to continue to add more to that, and using the aqua color, of course. I love aqua color, especially for Halloween time. I'm going to extend that downward. So what I'm going to do is just look at pictures, um, I still want to have that clownish kind of a vibe to this, so I'm going to basically go natural, but I'm also going to wing it out a little. Okay, so I got that all filled in, um, I went a little bit thicker in certain areas, so, yeah, and it's not an attractive look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Nick's chum board and just fill that in. If you don't have black lipstick, any kind of black look will do. Black creamy pencil, anything pencil you already used like I did and already, um, anything will work. It's personal preference. Um, yeah. So, let's go for it. So, this is the completed look. It is absolutely disturbing when I talk. Mm. Mm. But anyways, I'm going to go put a costume together. And you can see the final look all done up. This is the completed look. I do have a red wig that I at first thought, oh, it's going to work perfect. But then I'm like, you know what? I mean, it's not a red, red wig, it's a red and black wig that I have in my Onyx makeup tutorial, my Onyx shadow one, which I'll put a link to down below in the description box. But anyways, like, but I'm, I kept thinking, you know what, no, it just doesn't fit it. So I just sprayed my hair down with some of the Ruthless Red Beyond the Zone hairspray, just a little bit of it, um, like just the front of it, because really I don't want to take and do all the back and everything, but yeah, um, and this is just a, um, way a cape for my, um, waist, um, like, just a waist, um, cape, but I'm just like, you know what, I'm gonna put it on like this, kind of fits it, and then this is like a, uh, what's it called, it's just an armband that I have, and, um, then the shirt, just a regular shirt, I think I, where did I get this shirt from? I, I don't remember where I got it from, but, um, Arm, uh, gloves, I have no idea where I got them from, because last year I went nuts buying gloves, because I kept forgetting them, but anyways, um, yeah, that's about it, leave a comment, some comments, feedback, and all stuff down below in the comment section, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and that's about it, uh, until next time.